Welcome to today's Mindful Doodle. Today we're going to explore this floral pattern. All you need is a pen or a pencil, some paper, or if you prefer, like me, to use a tablet, do that. Whatever is something that feels good for you, because doodling is about fun and relaxation and being present and here. So grab your paper, if that's what you're using, and draw a square. I'm not being very precise because I like my patterns to be a little bit more organic, especially when working with geometry. But if you're a person that likes things exact, by all means, get a ruler, draw a square, divide that square into four squares. And then we'll start in one of those squares. Follow the lines with me from corner to corner. And then we create this other square in the middle. Well, mine's not a square because I'm not using exact measurements. Follow the lines along with me. Take your time. Relax. And maybe put on some nice music. Once you've got the hang of the pattern, you can turn the volume of this off if you don't want to listen to my voice and instead have some nice music, relaxing music instead. Or if you're using this as a meditation um, tool, perhaps you're just listening to your breath, moving the pencil or whatever you're using with each breath. I like to do that. Or you can also use a mantra so that each time you're drawing a line or a shape, you might repeat a mantra to yourself. Something very simple like breathing in, bringing, breathing out, or I am so hum in Sanskrit. Also, if you're maybe working with letting go of some difficult emotions, for example, you could use the mantra, breathing in, silently say let, breathing out, silently say go. Or anything else that you're working on at the moment. You might want to create an intention for this practice today. Perhaps you need to slow down. And that could be your intention with this practice. See if you can actually go through the pattern slower than you normally would. For example, if you know that that's an issue for you. So now going around the outside. First, we just start with the lines. I'm roughly pointing them together but as I said I'm not being very precise because I don't want that kind of look. With doodling don't be scared of making mistakes because in fact it's when you make mistakes that you might find a different pattern and something that's more of a discovery for you. So this doodling is not about getting things right it's just about play and it's through play and the ability to allow yourself to make mistakes that you discover new things and that can be quite exciting. And because it's a doodle, the great thing about doodling is that it's not precious. Therefore, it's fine to stuff it up. So as you can see with my lines, they're not particularly beautiful or symmetrical and that's fine. So we're nearly there with our lines. Pause whenever you need. Don't rush and go at your own pace. Now I'm speeding up the video a little because this is going to be quite repetitive. So what you're doing is you're rounding off the edges. So now you're forming these petal shapes. So round off the edges and then fill in with whatever color you might have so that you're getting this darker background. So now we've got negative space and positive space in the pattern. So 
feel free to fast forward or pause or go back if you need to. It's important that you work at your own pace, that you don't rush. Or if the video's too slow for you, that you pause when you need or speed up when you need. And also, as I mentioned, turn off the volume whenever you like so you can listen to nice music. It's always nice to create a nice atmosphere for your practice. Maybe you have some candles and some incense if you like that kind of thing so that you're in um, you're giving yourself the best chances of relaxing into your body breathing nice and smoothly and focusing on the sensations of drawing perhaps this brings you back to a childhood kind of vibe where things perhaps were more easygoing if there's difficulties that you're going through. It's nice to perhaps come back to that inner child. So one square is finished and maybe that's enough for you today. One square is fine. That might have done the trick for you. I'm actually going to do four. So it's exactly the same pattern as I did in the first one but when I come to the corners that link up I want to try and uh, connect the lines to the one that's already existing so as you can see this one's a little bit different each of the squares for me are going to be a little bit different because that's the way I like it so as you can see here on the edges we want to try and match up so that you have a whole flower. And then when you've done all of that, you might want to tweak it. So here I'm playing with the edges, rubbing out the sort of like straight lines and going for a, a tiny bit of a subtle curve on the edges, which I quite like rather than having straight lines. But feel free to experiment and see where your own exploration takes you and then if you're a little bit fussy like me you might go around and fill in some of the spaces where there's too much negative space and adjust accordingly or just leave it a little bit rougher which is also quite a nice look I have a tendency to overwork and make things too symmetrical sometimes which is not what I intended with this particular doodle but I can see now that that's where I'm kind of heading oh, well. I'm going to stop here but uh, as you can see there's a lot more that you could do here introducing color for example would be really nice I think perhaps I'd like this in yellow, maybe yellow and blue perhaps. Um, but I'm going to leave it here for now. I hope you enjoyed your practice. Um, I'd love to see what you've done. If you want to DM me on my Instagram or on Facebook and you want to share your pattern, I'd love to see it. Thanks for joining me and see you next time.